Hello Internet, my name is Ace, and today I'm going to be doing a speed sketch of Vicky the Fish. Okay, so firstly, when I'm doing a sketch, which I think for the majority of applications, it makes a lot more sense to do this, is to do thumbnails. Now, the thumbnails is, you're not aiming to make something that looks super pretty or anything like that. All you're doing is, well, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm just basically taking a fish and applying different levels of exaggeration to different parts of its body. Now, what that means is I might uh, up the size of the eyes. I may base it off a circle, base it off a triangle, which I do a little bit later on, or just move the the length of the little quiffy hair thing that's, that it's got going on, uh, extend or, or, or shorten the size of that, and just basically playing around until you get something good. Like, if you look at the initial sketch I did, that sucks. I mean, it looks... <laughs> It looks okay, but the, the the ones that I did further on, and that one that I just did there based off a square, I didn't actually take that one any further, but I did quite actually like that one. But you can see how your sketch can just evolve and just improve by just trying a few different things. So this is the one that I picked. But with your thumbnails as well, what you want to be doing is just spending 30 seconds on, on one. You're not spending much time. It's good as well when Obviously, there's no composition really involved in this, but if you're working on a composition as well, it really helps to just spend spend two or three minutes just doing a few different random thumbnail sketches to, and it always seems to make your the end picture better. So as you can see here, I've just basically dimmed that layer down, the sketch layer, and I've just got a blue dark blue pencil brush and I'm just going over the top and refining things at the moment I'm not following the sketch exactly as you can see the the patterns different and there's quite a lot of different things but what I'm doing is just finding the actual shapes that I want and amplifying things and, and bringing things down that that I don't like so much so why is the fish called Vicky well, Vicky is a friend of mine. She's an artist that lives in the same city that I do. She works mainly in acrylics. You should check her work out. She's called Vicky O'Grady. And she'd just been on holiday and she'd just been scuba diving, I think. And I put this sketch up on Twitter or Facebook and she commented saying that she loved it. So I just, just a little tribute to her and a little scuba diving adventure. So as you can see now, I've kind of refined Pretty much all of it. I think I've uh, well, I've got rid of the underlying sketch. I'm just, I'm just basically adding in the details now. So what I'm doing is I'm cross hatching, and that is, it's what it sounds like. So you're basically just doing lines one direction, then the like 90 degrees from that doing lines that direction. You can do vertical lines. Uh, you can do lines. They don't have to be 90 degrees. You can do any sort of degree that you want to, but it's basically just building up the turn and building up the the depth. So if, if you're um, wanting something darker, like you just saw me do there, then just add some more hatches, whether they're up and down or left and right, whatever. All you're doing is you're just trying to build form out of this sketch. Now, this was just a quick, very, very quick sketch. I could have spent 10 times longer on it, but I just wanted to just build the forms and just make them... Just so the actual anatomy of the fish was coming through somewhat. So that's all I'm doing now. I'm just working out the anatomy of a fish. So do I work from reference? Yes, I work from reference. And I think, I think unless you're really familiar with the subject that you're working on, uh, working from reference always gets a little bit more anatomy or reality in there. Now, obviously this is super stylized. This is nothing like the fish in real life. And that's tend to, that's basically what I do with my, um, with my reference, I'll basically take a picture and or, or grab one off Google or some kind of um, royalty free sites. And a lot of the time, I didn't actually do that this time, but a lot of the times I'll draw the reference as, as exact as I possibly can. So I'm doing like an accurate drawing first. 
then I can take my exaggeration, um, squash it and squeeze it in different places to see what works and just what doesn't work. And I'm blocking in like big uh, flat bits of color here because to actually cross hatch that full section, I think I'd maybe do some cross hatching on it but as well, but to cross hatch that full section to get it to that dark of a value would just take absolute forever. And this was just a, a warm up sketch the other day, so. Like, yeah, I do I do add some hatching over the top of it just to give it a bit more of that stylized feel because if you've got like a flat color next to uh, cross hatching everywhere else, it kind of don't look right. So, so yeah, so reference I think is super important. Lots of people just don't use it at all and that's that's cool. I think it's personal preference. I like to add some, some realism into my drawing even though that they're exaggerated and cartoony. So I tend to use reference. There's a lot of things that I don't use reference for. If I'm going super stylized, super cartoony, like if I was doing this for uh, something that was going to be flat colored for an animation or for uh, something in like a vector kind of piece of art or something like that, I probably, I maybe would use reference, but I probably would just draw it and then ink it and then flat color it on. Add, add a bit of sh shadow here and there, but when you're actually wanting the anatomy to show through, I think it, it helps. So all we're doing now is basically finishing things off. I'm just adding a little bit of details within the tail and the fin. I'm not sure on the actual terminology of fish. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments down below, but I'm just basically uh, defining that a little bit more here. I do the uh, f uh, the fin thing at the back as well next, I think. So it was just a fun sketch. I'm going to do maybe if people like this, this, uh, this sketch and let me know, like hit the like button if you like it, if you want to see more like this, um, if not hit the dislike button, just let me, let me know like what things you like and what things you don't like. So if you want to see more things like this, hit that like button, drop a comment and let me know. And it always helps me out if people subscribe. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, just click that subscribe button and then all these videos, like more videos like this and instructional videos on caricature, on painting, on sketching, everything like that that I can think of and what you can think of, if you let me know, then they will be uh, on the, your, the subscription. So you can see more videos as well. If, if you click, click my name just down below and you can see a bunch of my videos. And as well, I have a Patreon account, and that's basically where you can you can just drop me a dollar or so a month, and it helps me out, obviously financially, because I've dropped all my clients because I want to do this full time. So, if you want to help me out with that, then that's absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. You'll get some perks back. So there's different things on the different tiers, but there's things like you get videos early, you can get them ad free. And uh, there's a sketch club where once a month I'll do a live stream and we can all sketch together. There's extra videos that are only Patreon exclusive. There's a ton of stuff in there. So if you go on patreon.com slash it's all on there. Anyway, here is the final fish. You can see I did a bit of lighting in there. Just very rough. And what I'm going to do is the video that's coming out a week today will be the speed painting of it. I'm going to paint the paint this fish and I'm just gonna do a really quick painting, but it's just gonna be super fun, super quick. Right, so have an awesome, awesome, awesome week. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you wanna support me and in turn grab some awesome goodies for yourself, such as early and extra videos and Google Hangouts with me from as little as a dollar a month, head on over to patreon.com slash I'll see you there.